believe Mike is back in the area. Call me heartless all you want. Then again, I really I don't really have a heart if you know what I mean. But I prefer him to continue rotting away at NRE. That's kind of rude, but I can't really think of a time when Mike was nice to us. Yeah, and I heard some of our other enemies like Dave, Larry, Adam, and Fake Lily don't like him either. I'm gonna go on the computer and see if I can set up the ATCS. What are you doing on the computer, Nicholas? It's work time. You're not dumb. You're not Miss Gerbers or one of his workers. Now leave me alone. No, it's time for work. That jerk. Does he not realize that the computer actually belongs to Mr. Edwards and that he was nice enough to lend it to us? And the computer's almost dead? He's lucky it's not Mr. E's work computer. What the? It's not plugging back in. Um, what's that? Oh no! Some small wire came out. That's why it's not plugging back in. Quick, we gotta back up the data before the computer dies. Well, it's dead. Where is it gone to? There's an inverter outside the office. Mike's done it this time. Wait until we tell Mr. Edwards. He won't like it. He what? Well, he booked me a ticket to Best Buy. So, how did it go? They weren't able to fix it, so I had to exchange it for a similar new laptop. Since you told me you couldn't save everything before the battery kicked the bucket, I paid the Geek Squad to transfer my data to my external hard drive. That sucks. I've just about had it with Mike. Yeah, Mr. Edwards, you need to do something about him. Preferably, you should dump him into the sea like how Marie did with Eric Hant. And if his owner asks, say he was destroyed in a crash. You're right. He has crossed the line again. <laughs> Mike, you're in big trouble. But why? What are you, thick? You broke my laptop. Taking it is one thing, but breaking it is another. You should have checked the plug first. For all that, I am arranging an anger management class for you. You what? Oh, come on. I don't need anger management. After today, you do. Meet Momoka at Industrial Wasteland first thing tomorrow. further proves my points. By the way, Mr. Edwards asked me to tell you that you're banned from the roundhouse tonight. You can sleep in the shed at the top of the hill. The top of the hill? I'm much too good for that old shack. It's too noisy and uncomfortable. And you don't think I'm stressed after what you put me through today? Yeah, that's what I thought. Nicholas, Will, you two are coming with me. Hey Will, I'm Mike. Bang! I'd love to see that happen to him. Josh already broke my screen once, but Mike is making history repeat itself. It's too loud up here. I'll never get to sleep. Hey, keep it down. Keep it down or you'll regret it. Ah, <sighs> not at 1 a.m. Your paint scheme sucks and it ripped off my favorite paint scheme. And why are you teaching? You should teach a ninja class. That's basically pointless because engines can't move like a ninja. Shut it, Mike. SP sucks anyway. 
How dare you say that SP sucks? SP is amazing and more like you suck. Now Mike, we're going to teach you how to keep your anger under control. Easier said than done, but I guess we live and learn. And Mike, you're gonna have to pay for Mr. Edward's computer. Like hell I will. Where do I get the money? Overtime work. Oh wait, engines don't get paid. Only the railroads do. Never mind. Pull it. Try counting to ten. Screw that. It's not gonna work. Maybe count to 2,829. You two. Screw off. You all belong in the sea and not on the rails. That's what we all said about you yesterday. In the words of Gordon, Henry, and James, you are disgraceful, disgusting, and despicable. I can't believe you guys watch that kids show anyway. Thomas is for kids and not for mature engines. Actually, the older seasons were made for anyone, really. You just hate it because there's no SP in it. I'm glad there's no SP in Thomas, though. Stop bashing the SP. SP is life. You know what else SP is? Gone. So far you are failing this class. Try thinking about positive things when you get angry. Like Southern Pacific. Who cares about that railroad anyway? Agreed. The Ohio State Buckeyes stink. Michigan State should beat them. Yay, Southern Pacific. Good, you're getting somewhere. I wouldn't expect it to last. Just look over there. The poor SP unit needs to be leading, not trailing. As soon as I see that engine again, he's gonna be sorry he ever existed. That unit has to trail because it doesn't have cap signals. That's no excuse. Sometimes I wonder, if we drained all of Mike's memories about working for the SP, would he be calmer than he is now? Stop talking about me, you useless engines. You all need to be scrapped or repainted into a beautiful coat of scarlet and gray. Why don't you remember a time when you worked for the SP? It's no use. I've put up with them for so many years, but I hate how they wouldn't let me keep my SP paint. to the yard. What's Mike doing here? Learning how to manage his anger. I remember how triggered Mike was when he got repainted into the Kodakros boom scheme, and even more when he was repainted into Armor Yellow. Now why don't you idiots leave me alone? I hope you fail your class, Mike. And I hope you fail at life. And you three too, Momica, Will, and Nicholas. And how much of your life have you succeeded at? You never had too many friends. You kept getting into trouble a lot. You got repainted and rebuilt several times. Now you get around too much that your true owner is questionable. And you can never go a day without being grumpy. Oh! You just roasted him! How dare you roast me? That's it. You were grounded for 9,192 days. Also, you're an antagonist in Southern Pacific Nation. Wow, that's totally effective. Momoka is heartbroken and she's crying on the inside. Your series name totally isn't stolen from SP John's Steam Nation. That's it. You triggered him for sure. He's never gonna pass this class. Terry and Jaleel, what's up? Hey guys. 
I'm taking this green train, but I have to stop to let another train pass. Did Mr. Dunn roast you? You know he always does. He's the reason I'm nicknamed I Ain't. Were you angry at all when CSX repainted you from your seaboard scheme to YN2, then later to YN3, and eventually to YN3B? Kind of, but not to the extent as Mike. See Mike, Jaleel can control his anger better than you can. You're not helping at all. Like you ever help us at all. Mike's timeline, 1972, is built. 1980, takes a train to Pittsburgh but falls asleep and crashes into Adam and makes a few new friends. 1981, sets an ATSF lowly on fire and has the favor return, so to speak. 1985, gets repainted into Kodachrome, resulting in him antagonizing the Santa Fe. 1988, gets rebuilt into an SD45T 2R and renumbered 6856. 1996, comes apart at UP, renumbered 4797. Early 2000s, renumbered 2829. Late 2000s to early 2010s, retired from UP and sold to NREX. 2017, has a terrible experience working with Dora. Later, he gets covered in coal and gets bad presents for Christmas and e by the Great Big Rowan Railroad song. Shut up, Nicholas. Just saying the truth. Here comes the trail that's all to wait on. Looks like John and Heather are leaving. Hey Terry, Julia, Will, Mamoka, and Nicholas, what's up? Hey John, we're teaching Mike to behave. Good luck with that, it's really stubborn. Don't we know it. I bet if Mike acted up around Darren, Darren would beat him up. Yes he would. Shut up everyone, stop talking back about me. It's part of the test, Mike. You're not exercising anything we told you. Fine, fine. I'll try to think about SP and Ohio State so that I don't get upset. Are you ready, Mike? Sure, whatever. Go shunt those boxcars and don't even think about swapping any of them for SP rolling stock. Uh, Momoka, we're in America. We say switch, not shunt. Shunt is a Thomas thing. Shut up about Tom. It's a stupid show. I mean, yay, Southern Pacific. boxcars at all in your consist. Yeah, maybe one of them is carrying Michigan Wolverine souvenirs. Also, UP should be immortal. Don't lose it. Think about the good old days. Want to know who my favorite Thomas character is? Thomas. My second favorite's Gordon. My third is Oliver. Forget about the SP and work for an Eastern Railroad like we do. Come on, come on. You're not a useful engine after all. Mike, you love Seaboard even more than Barry and Eddie. Also, you are disgraceful, disgusting, and despicable. Oh no, not that catch for us. I hate that. Got any good memories from the Union Pacific? Hi, guys. Have you ever wanted to take a tour of the Jenks shops in Little Rock? I bet you do. And I bet you didn't know that Kennywood Park is building Thomas Town. Guys. Mike should get turned into a generator. Then he'll be useful at last. Right, Nicholas? Right, just like Smudger. Guys, you may want to be careful. Come on, come on. I can't hold it much longer. 
It's sad that SP units have to trail on UP's cab signal routes, isn't it? Guess what, Mike? We're looking forward to assignments where we can make SP units trail. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Screw it all. Well, Mike, I can see that you obviously failed the final test. Therefore, you did not pass the class. I'm going to kill you. You can't say that. Why not? According to the First Amendment, I have the freedom of speech, so I can say whatever I want. But you probably didn't know that it's limited. What about the time Mr. Edwards went into an Arby's in Richmond with a loaded gun? Oh, please. He was on his way to Goochland County to deal with a varmint problem, and he forgot he had the dadgone thing strapped to him. But luckily, the staff knows him, or everyone would take it the wrong way. Then one time Mr. Edwards was walking in the city with the weapon, he had a police officer stop him and he put his hands up and asked, what's the problem officer? Then the cop asked to see his ID, Mr. Edwards says, officer, there's a problem, I can't reach my ID if I reach you past my gun, what do you want me to do? Then the officer says, turn around. So Mr. Edwards does and the officer sees his ID and says, have a good day sir, sorry to bother you. Why does Mr. Edwards ever go to Richmond? Occasionally for photo shoots. Last month he did one for the Cathedral of the Sacred Heart, then at Belle Isle and Hollywood Cemetery. Lucky he makes a lot from being a train master. Photo shoots aren't cheap. That sounds very stupid. I guess we'll never make him see sense. So it appears you have failed anger management. Not only that, but you also rammed some cars too hard and caused them to roll on the other side of the yard. You're lucky a switcher caught them and not another train. Mike, you have caused confusion and delay. Stop with those annoying Thomas references. They're getting on my nerves. Do they look like I care? You can start thinking now while you're switching at the harbor yard for the rest of the week. And if the harbor master calls and gives me any complaints about you, you're more than welcome to watch seasons one through five of Thomas and Friends. And 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 oh 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 oh. This will be a living hell. This will also be a way to pay for my computer. the engine go to go on long runs while I'm stuck here moving these freight cars. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Cars could get mad if you bump and order them around just like that. Be quiet. I've worked with cars for a long time and I know all about them. Just mind your own business, you old fuss pet. Now come on you worthless cars, let's go. Hey, cut it out. Stop it. Stop.
I want to stop. I want to stop. I have stopped. Oh no. Not another Thomas reference.